Today I'll be doing some relaxing watercolor on one of the Alt New coloring books. So stay tuned to color with me. Hello and welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. I'm sharing a watercolor page today from one of the coloring books. This is easy watercolor. I didn't add too many details to this. It's just loose watercolor. I have chosen one of the pages that have an outline from the Exotic Blooms watercolor coloring book. I will start by applying water to the petal and then I will drop in light pigment. I'm using the Artist Watercolor 24 pan set. I will then add more pigment to this, gradually building layers. I will keep on repeating this and adding pigment till I'm happy with the shade I want and then move on to the next petal. Next, I will add a bit of yellow to this area. This will be light for now as I'm just building my first layer of color. I will also add a bit of orange too. I won't be doing this for all the petals, I will switch between colors. On some petals, I will also add a bit of pink from the cherry blossom, which will completely change the tone. On my right is my clean water mug and when I want to reduce the concentration of the pigment or clean my brush, you will see my hand move towards the right hand side. And then I come back in uh, to the petal to lighten some areas. Whenever I work on these coloring books, I love to let loose experiment and play with quite a few colors. So you will see me throw in a few shades on this pink flower here to build my layers. You will also notice that I will use deep oranges and ruby red to add depth rather than a dark pink, deep red or mahogany kind of color. Each petal is colored in the same manner. I only just changed the shades to I used uh, and this depends on you and your choice really. I just went with what I was feeling and I was just coloring from memory. These multicolored roses, uh, we used to have this in our garden and this brilliant pink orange rose, exactly the colors that I'm trying to achieve here. But I'm really not aiming for a realistic look here. I can do that, but I prefer to work on no line images for detailed watercolor to give it a more realistic look. Once I've added the first layer of color on the petals, I will start adding more pigment to the end of the petal and this will then start shaping up. I will be skipping some shots in between because it is simple, just repetition of the same thing on all the petals. My yellow flower will also be colored in the same manner. I will gradually apply pigment and diffuse it out, building my layers. I will focus on one petal here so it is easy for you to see this happening. To create my dark yellows and burnt oranges, I have combined orange, yellow, brown, a bit of red and to get the shades I need. I will leave you with some music. I hope you enjoy the coloring process.
If you don't like splatters, don't add them. I do love the texture they give, so I added both green and black splatters. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hello there. Did that video just spark your creativity? And do you want more project ideas and inspiration videos too? Well, if you do, please make sure that you subscribe to the Alt New YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you do click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.